Hey, man. Within this video, I'm going to be teaching y'all how to shoot, man. I shoot 75% from three. People accuse me of a zen. Listen to this clip right here. You do not know what the f time, bro. Bro, shut up, bro. <laughs> I have to force that because I know you can't shoot, bro. Shut up. Dude, I really can't shoot if you pass it. Trash ass. Hell, brick, oh, you're, you're not good. You're, you're not good. You're, 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 you are they're tripling me, bro, and you can't get open. You're wide open. Shoot the ball. This is probably the 20th Zen accusation I have gotten, okay? Now, I'm going to teach you how to shoot step by step. Best badges, best jump shots, best tips. I'm going to go over it in depth. Y'all not listening, okay? Shooting isn't too hard. It's just that it's broken. Mike Wang is playing God, okay? Based on how the game's going or how much you're hitting, he's going to make you miss that hole. I know y'all are noticing that. Y'all are mistaking it for being hard, but he's playing God. This is why when someone has a Zen, they're missing. But they, they shooting the, you know, like he's playing God on that hole. Okay, that, that's why I'd like them just straight a hundred bean, green bean, make your screen but yeah before we get into all that y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new help me hit 281k.6 we are like 90 subscribers away now look this the best jump shot in the damn game i'm gonna tell you why later on but firstly what i want to show y'all right here man i want to show y'all this right here guys okay this is very important this is so important bro a lot of y'all you're not thinking man i've been on at least 40 different accounts this year right and i'm noticing something people don't have their badges or their hot spots and they're going to play and then they're whining about the game especially this year since the rebirth right it gets you the silver badges or whatever people aren't getting their hot spots and maxing out their shooting badges you have to do it literally th this right here look y'all are playing and you don't even got this max how do you know the real truth of the game you feel me look hall of fame midi magician bro are you gonna miss a midi with that especially i already gave y'all the best pull-ups in the game y'all go check it out for your build i gave y'all the best releases in the game too and i'm finna go over the best jump shots again I go, I put in different jump shots every time, but look, you want to max out your jump shots. Look, right here, Claymore, you want to max this hole out. You want to max out Mini Magician. You really want to max out open looks. This is so important. It will change your game. I don't know why the goddamn modded controller guys, they're not doing uh the badge updates on all the uh shooting badges first like i don't know if i'm just tripping but i just feel like these shooting badges change everything like like it's not even close like when you play with without this and then compared to with this it's completely different bro that catch and shoot one of the most important badges bro people don't even got their catch and shoot max they're gonna go play and they're missing Look, I got this whole Hall of Fame. You feel me? People aren't maxing out their badges, especially because of the rebirth. I'm telling you, this is why you're missing way more than not. Look, the green machine, you got to get this whole max. Maybe it might not do nothing this year, but I, I, I don't know in particular what, but I know overall when you get all your badges, it's way easier to shoot. I'm shooting 75% on an 83-point build, right? Look, Space Creator max that hole watch what happens it's broken look max that hole watch what happens you you see these badges you want to max out your shooting badges bro the agent threes you want to max this hole out before you say like the shooting this and that and that and this the the shooting's broken because mike wang's playing god it's giving you random releases and it's not letting you make it when you do time it right bro when you do a little bit wiggly and you still time it right He's not letting you make it sometimes. It's annoying. 
broken, bro. It's it's annoying. Like, like, stop punishing the top players. It's corny as hell. Mike Wayne really need to lose his job, bro. Blinders, look, max this hoe out. Watch what's gonna happen. The Hall of Fame Deadeye, max this hoe out. Watch what's gonna happen. Okay? Limitless range. Max it out. Watch what's gonna happen. You feel me? I'm telling you, bro. Max your badges. If you need the method, let me know. I could get all the shooting badges in probably six hours overall. Like all of them, right? I just don't have the time, you know? This is a new build, by the way. This is a rebirth. I did all this in, in one day. All these badges you see, I did all this in two hours. Before I get into all the jump shots, I want to show y'all this, right? Get your lethal hot zones, okay? 2K Lab did a test, right? You have to at least get your hot spots. Before you play online, get your hot spots, bro. It will be way easier to shoot on every build you use. Get your hot spots. Send this to a friend. Tell them. Get your hot spots. Stop making everyone miserable to play the game because you're too lazy to get your hot spots. Get them. The lethal, these purple hot zones. You have to do the art of shooting drill. I think it's open like two times a week. Y'all uh clarify down below. And also let me know y'all's favorite jump shots down below and uh anything else, but you know. But look, hot zones, very important. You have to get them. Now look, here are the visual cues explained by Mike Wayne. I personally use release, but you can hear what he says. But look, none of this truly matters because there's so much latency. But you know, you have to let it go before the cue of whichever one you use. It's kind of crazy, bro. But listen up, yeah, li li listen up. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball is raised up above the head before the shooting motion begins. Push, which is the default setting, is when the shooting motion is underway and the ball is being pushed forward. And release is the point just before the ball leaves the shooter's hand. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball... Now look, the whole problem with this is there's so much latency in 2K and there's so there's different latency in so many different modes. So it's kind of hard, you know, you know, but it's still easy, right? You just got to get used to it. You know, you got to have your prediction skills up. You can't always go off the cue because there's so many different latencies. Take off trigger effect. Something should not be vibrating in your hand. You're a grown man. You feel me? Take off trigger effect on your PlayStation and on the game. You can keep on vibration. It's cool. But take off trigger effect. Throws you off. It's ridiculous. When I be playing rec, all I hear old heads, young heads, you know, just turn off your jump shot meter. I don't care if you don't know your jump shot, figure it out. You get a 20% plus boost without the meter. Tell all your friends, share this video to them. Now look, your visual cue. I like release. I say use release or push. They say release is very late and they're saying push is late. Um, I be using release and I, I like it. They saying this is uh, whatever, but whatever. Your timing, it just make sure you put it on push or release and then let, let me know how you feel about it. This is supposed to be very early. This is supposed to be early. This is supposed to be late. This is supposed to be. Now look, you could bring this hoe up. You know, if you don't need it that slow, you could rock it like this. I'm telling you, even comp people are doing this. I'm telling you, they're doing this. You could do it like this. You could do it like this, or you could do it like this. Either way, this hold the best in the game. Okay, this is the this is the golden shot. Okay, that's four jumpers. Now, if you need different releases because you don't qualify, you can go ahead and look at my other releases. Um, I did a whole video on the top releases. Okay, now look, this jump shot right here. It is easy to hit with, man. You could get this on a way like lower requirement compared to the, like the T-Mac, right? These releases make it go way higher than it really is, but you can use different releases and get this when you're in the 70s, okay? Try this out, very easy to hit with for the spot ups and the uh, main ball handlers, bro, okay? Try it out, you'll see. And again, you could slow this hole down. You feel me? Look, your stability go up, all that. I'm telling you, bro. Especially y'all, y'all, y'all don't be playing comp like that, bro. You can get these shots off, and even if they contestant, 
You can still make the whole you know your release, man. I'm trying to tell you. Now this Prince bass, a little faster, right? Main ball handler, spot ups. You need a little higher release for this, or you need a little higher uh, requirement to get this whole again. You don't need to use these releases. I just think they're the best in the game, right? But you could use different releases and you could get this hoe in the 80s, okay? Seem like this hoe got a nice green window. Now look, you could bring this hoe down. I'm telling you, bro. Though the worse you are, bring it down. The more trouble you're having, bring your release speed down. It'll change everything. You can go test it out in the Gatorade, bro. So serious. Now this jump shot right here, bro. You fade backwards. It's like that Butler thing. This is... You, you gotta have like mid 80s with this hoe to get this, right? You can use different releases to have it a little lower. But look, it's crazy easy to hit with this hoe too. Like if you can't get T-Mac, this is one of the jump shots you wanna go with. And that uh Jordan NW one too that I showed earlier. You wanna go with this if you can't get the T-Mac. I think the T-Mac is like an 87 requirement for your midi or three point. Uh, but if you can't get those, you want to go with these hoes, okay? Um, right? If you're just in the 80s and you know you could click it up, click it down, do what you will, bro. I'm telling you. Got another jump shot right here. This is a low requirement jump shot. It's pretty easy to hit with. You might be able to get contested a little easier because the release height not like that and you're barely getting up off the ground, but it's still easy to hit with, man, you know? You got a lower requirement. Again, you could turn this hoe down, you know, and you could use different releases to get it at the uh, mid 70s. And this is another one you want to use if you don't have the uh, the T Mac, right? This is another one, right? This is like the mid 80s though. And again, you could click this hoe down to make it even easier to hit with. Gordon Haywood's decent. Uh, you need like in the 80s again lower 80s but you gotta uh use different releases again i just think these are the best releases you know click it down if you are struggling seems like you know you could get you know it's harder to contest you it's not like some of the other jump shots that don't get no air and your feet kind of come together so you know yeah and for a little bill bro and for little guards man i say just use this hoe bro to be honest and if you're struggling click this hoe down bro let's click it down you already shoot faster since you're smaller. You got a smaller wingspan. Bro, if you can't make with this jump shot, you might need to give it up, dog. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Your stability a damn A+. Plus. <laughs> you feel me? Like, bro, like you got four different ways to go with it, dog. You feel me? I think this is the best blending for this hole. And yeah. Now let me show y'all some big build jump shots from the Discord real quick, man. Because, you know, I don't have a 610 plus build. So, you know, they sent me some, you know... Kevin Durant release. This is when you got like a big, you know, you got to be at least 6'10 plus for this hole, right? But you got to have an 86 midi or a three point to even be able to use this. Of course, you can manipulate it to use it on lower. The KD base is one of the best bases in the game, okay? Definitely if you 6'10 plus and you got like a shot on you, you put that KD on, bro. Now look, the Isaac, you know, also another build, you got to have a, you know, decentness mid range and, uh, 3.0 you know the 82 right but people are making bigger builds that you know have a uh, higher uh shooting rated stats and this is a nice one right here you know this isaiah now this the white all you need is a 77 okay it's a slower jump shot you know he rocked this man these are all consistent jump shots for the bigger builds man i know they're scamming us but if you want to be able to shoot <laughs> jump shot boost will help you if you want to be able to shoot also even better gatorade Okay, um, you can probably go with one of these hoes or not even use it. Make sure you always do your weekly workouts. They took gym rat out the game. If you do your weekly workouts on a certain level, you're gonna get the extra blue bar that helps you with your shooting and everything you do, correct? Very important, your Gatorade is gonna help you shoot. You, you see how they, everything in the game is designed. For you to be in a VC deficit. We are basically paying to play the game. <laughs> Y'all ain't never thought about that, huh? Now, one more thing. In every 2K, people take all this stuff off to make it have less lag delay. You could turn off your shot feedback. You could turn off everything. If you, like, if you feel like stuff is really bothering you, if you're lag delayed, 
you turn all this off, it could help. I'm going to keep it on. But they say you turn all this off. You know, they be doing this in every 2K, like the stage guys. I don't know if it help or don't. The ball trail, they turn it all off. If you're experiencing stuff and you just want to test this out, this is something you could. Hey, y'all click on this video on the screen. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo. Off the top of the dome, dome.